<laughs> yeah, so Kim Star, he keeps going on and on. And what's funny about him is that every time he baits me with this something like this, I... and then I respond, he reports me to YouTube. I mean, he's such a baby, he's such a little baby bro. So here's the new one, and, and you'll see why I'm responding to this. <laughs> so he tweeted this out. Remember that time H3H3 H3 called Jiddy and A? Hmm. Sounds interesting. Let's watch. It's what happened with this with this one guy. Beta. Beta. <laughs> this guy Dijon, who, by the way, I'll Dijon. say to his credit, has apologized. <laughs> Pretty, uh, pretty fishy, right? Hmm. What could I have been saying? All it's right. what happened with this nit with this one. Wow. Keemstar's really got me. He good. got you dead to right. Oh wait. Well, there's this. I I'd like to see Ethan wiggle his way out of this one. Wait. Hold on. This is, was a popular response, of course. If you know what this is, mm -hmm. you know, you know. Video. Or what did they say? Gifts that have sound <laughs> in your mind. They're all that, which is great. You know. But a lot, there was a lot of people that were like, whoa, what else was he going to say? Yep. There's no other word he could have possibly been saying. People retweeting it. I can't believe this. I'm not surprised. Yeah. A bunch of, you know. Typical stuff. So, by, really the way, by the way, look the how line. dark my hair was, though. We yeah, pulled that up and I never talked about screen. it. <laughs> oh, because we didn't talk about look it. Look how dark my hair was, bro. I'm going gray as shit. Shit. So, anyway, Keemstar posts that. Yeah. So you might be wondering, what was I actually going to say? I mean, it's not like you don't stutter on your words. Right. I mean, even, even by itself, it's not incriminating at all. Because when I first saw the clip, I was like, it's so stupid. Obviously, I wasn't going to call him an N-word. Like, that's insane. Yeah. But what happened was we were like, well... The clip he posted is so deep fried and fucking weird. There's got to be more context to this. So, okay. so we looked up the context and you guys are going to love this. It comes from a highlight called Ninja is oh, suing what? Pokemon. Really? This is where he got the clip from. Oh my God. So you were going to say Ninja? So one more time, let me open this hard hitting shit. Now, Keemstar, he this wouldn't lie, guy. right? It's what happened with this nit with this one. Uh, right. Now I can hear it. You always say nin. Yeah. Nin. Are you seeing me? You know, I wasn't gonna call him the N word. That might surprise you, but so Keemstar went to a highlight called Ninja is suing Pokemon. Wow. And That's um, pretty low for for um. Even it's for, low even for him. Yeah, even for a clown. Yeah. So wait, Sorry. Where, where was the part where I said it? Did oh, you... it's in the first like forty seconds. So here, I'll just watch them. You guys want, I think I already made a whole video about this Pokey drama, but the one thing, basically, Pokimane, friend of the show, great, great lady, big fan. Uh, she's gonna she's come on to him, by the way. For those of you who don't know her. Oh, really? She's yeah. really, she's awesome. a big streamer. Cool. This is her, for those who are not familiar. There was a really interesting development, but I'll just give you the basic rundown, is that some dude was hate rating her Pokemon gets way too much crap. She's she's a pretty girl, and people just don't like women. What can I say? There's it, it's it's a gamer culture. There's a lot of incels. There's a lot of freaking betas, and they say, well, the only reason she's successful is because guys fantasize about being with her, and it's pathetic. And people always target her. It's what happened with this with this one guy. Beta. Beta. <laughs> this guy Dijon. Yeah, I obviously just meant to say Ninja. Mm -hmm. This story's about Ninja. Yeah, it's about Ninja suing Pokemon. Who, by the way, I'll say to his credit, has apologized and stuff. And mm -hmm. so, like, I mean, that's pretty low. In fact, yeah, I might that might even be defamatory. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I because, love it. What it shows just how desperate he is. Yeah, yeah I mean, really clearly does. he doesn't believe it. But to go this desperate, like he's laughing with all of his dumbass kids that he hangs out with, and like, oh, you know, like obviously it's not what he's saying. But if you're this desperate to use this, what is that? What is that show? He's exhausted. Every yeah, fucking he option has nothing. Yeah, nothing. Which is good. Nothing. Yeah. How much does he have, Bo Blacks? What's he got? Bet you have nothing. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, but this is probably defamation, to be honest. And and I mean, you throw that in with the um, when he was accusing me of stealing funds from yeah. the. I mean, that's that's a never that's forget a slam dunk, you know. <laughs> never forget him. <laughs> and I just love that he's bitching to YouTube, try, constantly trying to get us in trouble. Uh, it's Team so Star, sad. Up. It's so sad. This man is so fucking sad. It's funny that you say that because I looked at the same time to see if Keem reported on the situation. And I went to his Twitter and here I, I linked in the doc. This is uh, Keem being a Karen on Twitter. <laughs> so the same day where Keem went back and found this clip of me missing Ninja. And he, the same very day that clip took place, he said, Dear Twitch, I would like to inform you that the streamer Pokemon has sexually harassed Ninja. <laughs> I know probably no one if if is offended, but rules are rules. This was clear sexual harassment. I mean, so he knows about the situation. He's also it's nice to show what an incel loser he is too. Yeah, it's that that tweet says so much to me. Yeah, like the I'm shit. Busted. He tried to claim you're a deplatformer. platformer. He's clearly doing it in like broad daylight. Just he does it all the time. Has. All the time. Always has all been the, that yeah. person. Always has yeah. been. That's what he's about. Yeah. Yeah, he's just a spiteful loser that will go to any length to get... I mean, he really has some kind of personality disorder. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't mean that as, like, a joke. I just think, like, that's the only explanation for... He's twisted. For, for what he does. Uh, for the people saying this is not sexual har harassment, imagine if Ninja said something about Pokey's genitals. He would get banned. I don't, what is he referring to? So, get this. The sexual harassment that he's referring to... It's Pokimane said that she has bigger balls than Ninja. Oh. Uh, That's sexual harassment. But when oh someone is R-wording you, just close your mouth. Just close your mouth. I, I don't get it. Just close your mouth. Yeah, Keemstar famously said of the Jake Paul essay story, the story was that he forced himself in, into her mouth. And he's like, this, is, this bitch is lying. I mean, just close your mouth. Just say no. He's done the, about a few stories that came out, not just that, Jake Paul. So there was the one girl that like said she froze in a situation, and he was like, how do you freeze? Yeah. Just move. Yeah, exactly. And uh, he's posting like these really weird and silly fucking photos of her. like. Yeah, when he reported on it, that's the photo he used. Dude. 40-year-old dude. So pathetic. Wow, that's Roll sad. It. That is so sad. Look at his face. I mean, there's nothing there, man. That, that, look at that face. How much, what does he have, Boblox? You got, you got to have that one. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, that's too useful. You're right. That's a good one. So there's that. You know, when someone, when someone posts something like that, you said the N word to a black person and it gets 5,000 likes on Twitter. Then, um, then it's worth uh, uh, defending yourself. By the way, somebody donated and said, my Porsche has an electromagnetic panorama roof that features frost and tint glass. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's supposedly the model of Porsche that you have has some feature that you can... I gotta look at that. Yeah. Interesting. Um, here's another one. When Jideon sent a hate raid over to Pokemon stream spamming L plus ratio, the Twitch community, the Poggers community said, well, the rules are the rules. The rules are the rules. He broke terms of service. He broke TOS. He deserves to get banned. And now that Pokemon has said on her stream that she has bigger balls than Ninja, she has clearly broken the rules oh, she has broken terms of service she has broken tos that is sexual harassment you can't talk about another twitch streamer's genitals like that or criticize another twitch streamer's genitals you can't do that if any male streamer talked about pokimane's genitals they would get banned because the rules are the rules now when i put that tweet out <laughs> You guys are responding, you Pogger community, you Twitch community. Oh, you're reaching. Oh, you gotta be kidding. No, 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 no. You set the tone. You set the tone last week. The rules are the rules. She deserves to be banned. She broke the rules. Stay mad. Mm -hmm. Wow. Bet you have nothing! 
I'll talk about her genitals. Keemstar is a bigger pussy than Pokey. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got smaller balls and a bigger pussy. <laughs> Got all the parts. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, just a, sh just a short little thing, like... Because he tries to get away with this stuff, and you can't really give him anything. Mm -hmm. The man, it's kind of, this man it really has been trying to ruin my life, like, actually, for years. And it's pretty incredible. One more time, just... It's what happened with this with this one guy. I mean, dude. Well, dude, you said you didn't like him five years ago, so... <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> it's kind of... It kind of... Kind of asking for it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. um. I'm sure he's going to write an email now to YouTube saying that... Uh, I'm harassing him or something, which is another layer of insane. If but I can interject for a moment, I think his tweet says a lot more about him than you. It comes off both as projection much, and I think it kind of honestly shows his true colors because I've seen a lot of dudes like that who, you know, I, I, I mean, I don't want to call it performative social justice, but, like, let's be honest, you know, who pretend that, like, they're trying to do a cause and stuff to kind of, hide their true colors and make it seem like, you know, that they're not racist and like, mm. and like, I, I just think that Kim just wants you to be him so bad that he's willing to go down these low ass mm. lanes. Cause, cause let's be honest. I mean, me personally, I believe Kim Star doesn't really give a shit. No, no, of course yeah. not. Zero. Yeah, of course and, not. <laughs> I'm, sure he's, I'm sure he's using that hard R and yeah. free time, you know, in mm -hmm. secret. I mean, my own personal opinion, not reflective of Yeah, thank, thank you for that Avery. disclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's embarrassing. I mean, a normal person would be humiliated to tweet something like that out, but he has nothing left, right, Bo Black? Bet you have nothing! You. <laughs> that was much better, Zach. <laughs> Bro, it still smells so much like smoke. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. Yes, My head is it pounding. It does. Awful. My head is pounding. I had to adjust.